Yeah, I just don't know that you get it. I mean, there are some of us out here and we can talk until we're blue in the face about preparation and tell you to get ready, whether it's for crisis, collapse, disaster. We can talk to a blue in the face, it doesn't matter. Well, we try and get you to prepare for your mental aspects, you know, get ready mentally and get ready physically and even spiritually and we even go to the points of socially get with people of like mind for these things that are coming. What's interesting to me is that the majority of you will favor the video uh, of people who are high paid. High paid individuals will be favorited to help spread that. Just, you know, but they're getting paid to tell you what they tell you for the most part. I've had a lot of revenue sharing on the videos that I got uh, that's offered by the Google thing. I've never, never done that. I figure if you're going to tell somebody the truth and you're really concerned about them, you know, just put it out there. It's not about a dollar bill. Most of that's not worth anything anyway. When you're really concerned for someone, you know, you give away uh, what you give for free. And of course it's not free. I mean, those of us that are out here putting these out, we are paying for the internet, I guess, and we're uh, taking our time for whatever kind of hardware or software we use or uh, whatever editing and you know so it's there's a cost time is money right the thing is this um, I used to tell people you could be giving away brand new cars on the internet but if nobody can find it you're just gonna have a lot of cars interestingly enough most of the people that I know are talkers Oh, they talk a good game. A lot of them talk about religion like they, they know something. And they do have a lot of knowledge, don't get me wrong. But the majority of them don't have a clue, don't really have a relationship with anything supernatural, which is interesting. That should throw up some red flags. But hey, if you can make a buck, you know, tell people what they want to hear, put all those numbers in. And it is important to get some numbers in this sort of area or this, this media because we want to get the message out there to as many as possible while there's still time. You see, eventually this is going away. We've talked about that before. But what I find really peculiar is that, you know, give an example. People are like rope. You can take a piece of rope and tie it to a heavy trunk, okay? Now, you tie it to that heavy trunk and get on the other end of the rope and push that rope and it will curl up. It's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna move the trunk. But if you roll up your sleeves and grab a hold of that rope and pull with it, then the trunk will move. Amazing how rope works. Can't push it, but you can pull with it. And that's what we're trying to do. Those who are really awake, trying to help others to wake you up. We're not trying to push you. Because when you push a person, they just curl up. You know? And there's no sense in it. Sort of silly. Don't want to push you into fear. Don't want to push you into panic. Don't want to push you into doing something that maybe is against your principles or against your mind but if we get in there with you roll up our sleeves and we work together and pull together we can move that trunk you see this is what we've forgotten but because we're in this media thing this network where the majority of people who have friends are either within their little cliques which have nothing to do with reality or truth for the most part or we have this where we're out here on this inner tubes, if you will, and there is a sense of separation where we're not pulling together. And, of course, there's also the, the concepts you can only allow so much information out. You can only tell certain tidbits and hope that people pick up on it and will look for themselves. 
because much stuff is course centered. But I want to ask you to do this. If we are going to work together, and we know that what, July 4th people are talking about, this is it, you know, people are going to rise up. Now, I mean, we've said that before. We've heard people say it all along. But the thing is, is if you're going to um, work together, I mean, are you just a talker or are you a doer? If, if I see a video that someone has put out and it has good information or something in it that people might pick up on, then I will favorite that video. Now, it doesn't mean I agree with everything that's in the video, for sure, but I will favorite it so that others might see and look into maybe a tidbit of that information. And there is a lot going on. That you can rest assured. The thing is this. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you just observing? Feeding your mind with all the information you can get? Or are you really helping to share the message? You know, I tell people, favorite these videos. Favorite. Put a thumbs up so that you're drawing attention to that message. So that we can really warn the people. We're not out here to make a dollar. We're out here to try and save a life or a soul. To try and help people see what's really happening. To open their eyes. Now, I would ask that, hey, favorite this video. We did that with the I'm Awake, and boy, we got, we got some good views on that. that. That went a lot of places, but then it just dropped because nobody was really pushing. It's one thing to, to put out a little video clip or something like that, and I'm not asking for comments. I'm not asking for you to do all. I'm just saying, hey, favorite. Favorite the video. If, you, if there's one that's out there that's got a message, how come we're only getting a, you know, a couple hundred hits or a couple thousand hits? Why, why do you see these ones with, with little kitties doing tricks or some kid uh, being grotesque and obscene? How come those go to the top? Because that is the mentality of our society. Oh, people will watch it just because it's there and, and it seems to be the thing that's in style. It's the click. But if you're really concerned, about people. I mean, you can talk that talk all you want to. He says for everything that we do, every gift, every drink of water that we give to someone, there is a reward. What are you doing? If you're not making videos, are you reposting these videos that you agree with? Are you actually trying to reach out? Or you just watch something and say, oh, that's good. And maybe leave them a comment, that's fantastic. But then what do you do? You go to the next video spending your time there. What are you actually doing to help the process? Are you helping to spread the message? Are you helping to carry the truth to the next person? Are you featuring videos on your channel? You know, you pick one and you say, now this is something people need to know about, and you feature that video. But we don't do that. We like something, we might give it a thumb up, and we move on. But why be greedy if there's information there that is good? Why take it just to yourself? And why are you drawn to those big media situations? You know, the ones where they're getting paid to tell you what they tell you. It's beyond me. You see, the truth, the little voice, these patriots, these constitutionalists, these truthers, these... Christians, these different people who are out here trying to say, hey, look, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. Rather than, you know, don't get me wrong, go prove it. Go prove it. Don't just jump on trying to discredit because the majority of people will discredit something whether they know the truth or not. Oh, I heard this. Well, that's different than what I heard here. So that's with no proof, no validation, just pride and ego. Wanting to be right. Things are getting ready to take place, folks. Place is going to be rocking. I'm not telling you where to go. I'm not telling you what to do. But if you have a conscience, 
if you want to see people survive in any way, then start sharing this stuff. If you can't post a video, you can still favorite one. You can feature them. Pick the ones that are telling the truth. Pick the ones that are sharing a message. It's what we're supposed to do here. We help each other. Again, I try and favorite the ones that are good. And because YouTube has shut me back down now to my time limit to 15 minutes, and come to find out they're doing that to a lot of people who are speaking truth. That right there should be a red flag in itself. And there's a lot of things going on around the world right now that the majority aren't even aware of. Right here in the States, there's a lot going on. Had a bunch of Humvees going through here just yesterday. No joke. Bunch of military movement happening everywhere. Maybe it's just them coming back from the wars. All right. Maybe some of the stuff in Afghanistan. Sure. Maybe. Maybe they're prepping for something else. Maybe. How you gonna know? Gotta get in there and look and study. Pray for the sermon and the spirit. Try it all out. Check into it. Make sure what is true and what isn't. Get sources that are legitimate. And make sure you have more than one source. Again, if you're not helping to share the message, then you're just as guilty as those that we're trying to speak against. If you support the New World Order, don't share my message. If you support the Bilderberg or the Bohemian Club, don't, don't share my message. Maybe you're a member of the Illuminati or the Elite, then you probably don't want to share my messages. But if you're a person who cares about your fellow man, regardless of race or creed, or nation, just mankind in general. If you want people to come to the understanding of truth and to come to a communication with the Creator, then by all means, please share these messages. Get them out there. Get the warnings out. I've hit those numbers now and I'm getting ready to uh, really spread some stuff, for sure. Made enemies along the way. Keep your enemies as close as you can. Made some really good friends along the way. But when it all comes down to it, it's just you. That's it. Just you. It's all on you. Or are you speaking up and speaking out? It's time. It's time. If you don't know it in your gut, if you can't feel and see what is actually going on, then you're in the dark. So, are you a talker or a doer? Do your part. Spread the messages of truth. Don't just be an observer. Don't just absorb it. Post, repost, share, feature. Send people to people who are true. If there's somebody out there that's your favorite, and it probably isn't me, but if there's somebody out there that's your favorite, and they're sharing good information. Share that with others. Favorite their video. Post it. Things are happening. Things are coming close. Better start preparing. Not just food and water and shelter. And here's another thing. Remember this, okay? If you think that there is a place that you're going to go on the face of the earth, and you're going to be better there than somewhere else. This stuff that is getting ready to take place is going to affect all of the world. You better be self-sustainable as long as you can. So, remember, they tell you to run north. What if there's a pole shift? Uh-oh. Maybe you should have went south. Never know, do you? Never know. Mm. That's where you better be praying about it. Better get some uh, direction from upstairs. Y'all be praying for me. Praying for you.